Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I will be teaching you everything you need to know about the provisional driving license. So before I get there, I firstly want to define to you what a provisional driving license is, um, just in case you don't know. So a provisional driving license is a green cutted license, just like the one that is on the screen before you, um, which has a picture and also has some of your details on there. But basically a provisional license is a green colored card um, or green colored license, which basically acts as a temporary driving license um, for you. And the provisional driving license is a license that is needed, okay, for you to be able to take driving lessons in the UK with a qualified and experienced driving instructor. It is also needed for you for you so that you will be able to actually take your fury test. So in the UK, you have to take a fury test. All right. So you take you have to take a fury test before you can before you then take on a practical driving test, which will then qualify you to be able to drive on the roads in the UK. Um, so therefore, without a provisional driving license, okay, in the UK, without you acquiring this provisional driving license, you would actually be unable to drive in the UK. And therefore, it is very, very important that you have one and it's very, very important that you know how to actually apply for one as well. So welcome to Acosia UK helping you to navigate in the UK as a newbie. I hope you enjoy this channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Um, in today's video, um, I'm sure um, that many of you are watching today's video um, because you are eager to drive, okay? And you watching this video, you have made a very, very good and a very, very important step to do so. So I want to encourage you to keep on watching um, because in today's video, I'll be showing you how to actually apply for a provisional driving license. And this all takes place online, um, but I will give you a um, demonstration of how to actually apply for a provisional driving license. And I'll also be answering the most frequently asked questions when it comes to a provisional driver license just in case you might also have these kind of questions in your your mind and hopefully that hopefully this video will address them for you so um i just want to firstly address these major questions um that may be coming through your minds right now and the first is who can apply for a provisional driving license now an individual that can apply for a provisional driving license must meet these criteria, and the first is that the individual who applies for the provisional license okay the provisional driver license must be at least 15 years old and nine months okay this is a requirement from um, the DVLA when you are applying for the provisional driver license and the DVLA is the um, should I say the the, the national body who um, um, basically rules or should I say um, governs um, driving in the UK. All right. So I will leave a link in the description below um, with the DVLA website so that you can read more about it. Another requirement or another criteria of you being able to apply for a provisional driving license is that you should be able to read a number plate from 20 miles away or from 20 meters away. All right. And you might be wondering, or you might be saying to yourself, I wear glasses, okay, would this affect me? Would this um, impede my ability to be able to um, qualify for this? It doesn't matter if you wear glasses, it doesn't matter if you do not wear glasses. The only requirement is here that you should be able to read the number plate um, from 20 meters away. So if you have to wear your glasses to do that, then all that means is that when you are learning to drive with your provisional driver license and when you do eventually drive, um, you have to just make sure that you wear your glasses all the time, okay? Because that is the only way you'll be able to read a number plate 20 meters away, all right? And the third requirement and the final requirement for somebody um, to be successful in actually applying for their provisional driving license is that they should have permission 
to be able to live in the UK um, or in Great Britain at large, which um, consists of England, Scotland and Wales. And they should have this permission for at least 185 days. So this requirement is very, very important for people who are on visas. So if you're on a visa, uh, most of the visas in the UK um, tend to be six months. Um, so if it starts from six months. There are some visas which can um, be less, but most of them I know of, they start from six months onwards. So if you are on a visa that lasts for at least six months or more, you should be able to apply for a provisional driving license. Okay, another question that you might be thinking is, where do I apply for a provisional driving license? Now, the provisional driving license is, um, you can apply for it or it is applied for through the government website, okay? And when you go to the government website, you'll be able to see a section for the provisional driving license and you'll be able to complete an online form. Now, I don't want you to worry too much about this at this present moment because I will provide a demonstration um, of how to actually apply for the provisional license um, after I address the frequently asked questions um, that you may have. OK, so keep on watching. At the very end of the video, I will provide a demonstration of how to actually apply for the provisional driver license. OK, step by step. All right, so now I want to address the frequently asked questions that many people have about provisional driver licenses. And I hope that this will also address some of the questions that you have or some of the worries or some of the concerns that you may also have. So the first question is, how much does a provisional license cost in the UK? So cost is very important because in this world, you need money to buy everything. All right, so... Um, According to 2023 um, guidelines, okay, it costs £34 to apply for the provisional driving license online. Um, you can also apply for the provisional driving license using a form as well, but um, I do recommend you to use the online version because it is much quicker that way. So you, it costs £34. You can pay using a debit card, a MasterCard, um, a Delta debit card, Electron um, debit card as well. You can also use a credit card. Just make sure you pay back your credit card. All right. So you're not in any kind of debt. All right. So it costs at this present moment in 2023, it costs £34 to apply for a provisional driving license. Okay. So another question you may be having is, can I apply for the provisional license without a UK passport? And the reason why um, this question is so, so important for me to answer today is because many of my subscribers um, are from um, other countries. They're not living in the UK. They're desiring to relocate to the UK. I'm sure you are also desiring to relocate to the UK or maybe you're already in the UK, you've just come and you want to have a bit more information about it. So I felt that this question is really, really important that I address. Can I apply for a provisional license without a UK passport? Now, the answer is yes, you can. You can apply for a provisional license without a UK passport. But what the DVLA will request for is that they're going to request for a different Doc, like a different document to identify who you are other than the UK passport, which you do not have. So if you are on a visa, um, which you need a visa to be able to stay in the UK, if, you, if you're on a visa, you will be asked to share your share code, um, which, you, which would have been provided to you after you applied for your visa or when you was applying for your visa, basically after you applied for your visa and you were successfully granted your visa, you would have been given something known as a share code. And it is this share code that when you share it with DVLA, when you are applying for your um, provisional driving license, okay, um, it is this share code that will show your immigration status in the UK and what rights you have in the UK. Also show the, the, visa, the kind of visa that you are on. So every visa in the UK um, has its own, um, basically has, the, the things that you, you are allowed to do and the things you're not allowed to do. So, for example, um, if you're on a spouse visa, you can um, apply for work, okay, full time. However, if you're in a student visa, for example, you can only work 20 hours a week. That is all. All right. So there are some restrictions on some of the visas more so than others. So 
um, when you do share your share code, it will give um, them an opportunity to be able to really identify um, basically the restrictions that may exist, the restrictions that do not exist and so forth, okay? And aside from that, it will also help to verify your identity as well, which is what they really want to know. Are you who you say you are, basically? And um, the share code um, would also be or could also be found on the immigration ID check okay um when you actually are applying or when you actually did apply for your visa now if you're on a visa um watching this and you don't really know your share code maybe you can't remember your share code you don't know where where it is but you want to apply for your provisional driving license i will leave a link in the description below for you to be um for you to be able to access your share code so when you click on the link below um you'll be able to um complete some questions and you'll be able to um, access your share code all right and this website is a government website um, so they're going to ask you a few questions just to identify the kind of visa that you're on and um, they might ask you for some of your details and then they'll be able to provide the information that you need which is your share code all right so i'll leave that in, i'll leave that in the description um, below all right so another question you might be having is can a non-uk citizen get a provisional driving license now this question is very very different to the previous one and you might be thinking it's quite similar it's similar but it's not the same question this is a completely different question okay can a non-uk citizen get a provisional license so a non-uk citizen so a non-uk citizen is somebody that does not reside in the uk um they might be residing in another country um so you can only reside in the uk if you have a visa However, if you do not have a visa, you cannot reside in the UK. And if you are outside of the UK and you desire to apply for a provisional driving license, um, you cannot um, do so because one of the criteria of you being able to get a provisional driving license is that you have stayed in the country for at least, or you intend to stay in the country, or you have a visa that enables you to stay in the country for at least 185 days. All right. So just be aware of that. Aside from that as well, the, the DVLA will ask you to prove your identity and to prove your identity, um, you're going to have to provide your visa share code as well. And you have to be able and that will be that will be able to prove to them that, yes, you do live in the UK, but you just haven't got your UK citizenship yet. But you're on a visa and that is acceptable as well. OK, so that is that question. The next question is, how long does the provisional driving license or how long does the provisional license take to arrive? So roughly a provisional driving license takes roughly one week to arrive, especially when you apply online. If you apply via a form, um, like a physical form that you post to them, it might take longer because obviously posting takes a bit of time. Um, and then they have to read through your form and then they have to process it and so forth. So it may take more longer more than one one week when you are using a form to apply than it would if you're using um the online application um and also it could also take longer if you fail to um, provide the right identity documents as well but on average if you apply online it takes approximately one week to arrive at your doorstep okay so another question you may have is do you need to do a test for a provisional license in the UK or do you need to do a test to be able to receive your provisional driving license now you do not have to complete any test to get your provisional driving license all you have to do to be able to get your provisional driving license is to just apply and to prove your identity with documents when you actually apply for your provisional driving license online or using the form Another question you might have is how long is a provisional license or provisional driving license valid for in the UK? So as it stands in 2023, the provisional driving license is valid for 10 years in the UK. And on the provisional driving license, when you do receive it, you will see the full date of when you actually applied for that provisional license and also the full date of when your provisional license will expire. OK, um, so that you will always um, be able to, to know basically when your provisional license expires. When your provisional license expires, you have to um, apply for a new one. OK, so you can get a new one that is more up to date. OK.
Another question you might have is, if I have an overseas driving license, can I drive in the UK? Now, the rule in the UK is that during the first year of your stay in the UK, you can drive with a valid driving license from your own country or an international driving permit. OK, but after this one year is over, you must take you must apply for a provisional driver license in the UK and put an L plate on your car if you have a car. OK, so that is the rule in the UK. Um, and then after um, after that one year, you have to apply for your provisional driver license in the UK. You have to put an L plate on your car and you must also um, take some driving lessons and sit the full UK driving test as well. So you can only use your overseas driving license within one year. After the one year is over, you have to then um, go and you have to go through the whole process of getting your provisional driving license, sit in your theory test and then sit in your practical driving test. Now, I will also provide a link in the description below to help you to also just double check that you can actually drive with your overseas driving license um, because it might ch um, that requirement might change a little bit depending on the country that you are from so I've left a link in the description below please check it out and double check that you can drive in the UK with the overseas driving license that you in particular have okay so another question you might have is can I buy a car on a provisional driver license. Now, yes, you can buy a car on a provisional driver license. However, you can't drive it. You can't drive the car you buy unless you have your car insured, number one, and unless you have someone sitting beside you all the time who is at least 21 years old of age and who has at least three years like three years driving experience has had their driving license for at least three years. So this individual, if you want to drive your car, this individual has to be with you in the car, wherever you go at any given moment. Okay. That is the rule. So you cannot drive the car by yourself. If you have a provisional driver license, you would have to sit your fury test. You would then have to sit your driving lessons. You would then have to sit your driving um, test um, to get your proper driving license and that will enable you to drive wherever you want to go to by yourself okay so what I'll suggest for this question is that it's not advisable um, to buy a car when you have a provisional license because you wouldn't actually be able to drive it without um, another person who is over 20, 21 years of old um, 20, 21 years of age and who has a um, who has at least three years experience and had their driving license for these three years, you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere without that person. So that's why I said it's not advisable. Um, it's better that you go and take your theory test um, and then you go and sit your driving test and then you get your proper driving license. All right. And the final question um, that you might be having and that I want to address is what are the rules for provisional drivers in the UK? When I say provisional drivers, I mean, drivers who or when I, when I mean professional drivers, I mean people that only have their provisional driving license what are the rules in the UK so I'm going to share with you the rules so the rules for provisional drivers in the UK um, is that for an individual with a provisional driving license to drive they must be accompanied at all times by a full license holder who is over 21 years of age, who is qualified to drive the car that you are driving and has had their driving license for at least three years. OK, that is the rule. OK, so that is a rule if you're on a if you have just a provisional driving license, that is the rule. And also another rule applies for when you, for motorways as well. So somebody with a provisional driving license, if they want to drive on the motorway, OK, in the UK, so in England, Scotland or Wales, OK, um, you must ensure that you are that the person next to you is an approved driving instructor. OK, 
and that the car is fitted with dual controls okay so if you do not if you do not have an a, approved driving instructor for the motorway you would not be able to drive on the motorway okay you need somebody who's qualified um, and the driving instructor is qualified that's why i just believe that you should get your provisional driver license but then you should keep on going and you should desire to go and sit your theory test you should then desire to sit your proper driving test and get your proper license okay because to drive with a provisional driver license it really restricts you you have to have an accompanied person who has had their driver license for three years who is 21 years of who's over 21 years of age and who is insured on the vehicle um that or the car that you are actually driving okay so there's a lot of restrictions so it's better that you just get your full driver license and you can drive wherever you want to go at your own leisure so i hope that you found this video useful let me know in the comment section what other content you would like to see in the acosia uk channel um i want you to know that all links um, from today's video will be found in the description section below and i want you to know that any questions you have whatsoever about provisional driving licenses or if you just want to leave any comments to this video about provisional driver licenses, please leave them in the comment section below. I endeavor to answer all questions as soon as possible. Aside from that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Acosia UK. Acosia UK is dedicated to helping people who are new in the UK, settle in the UK peacefully. And it's also, this channel is also for people who desire to move to the UK legally, correctly, professionally, and peacefully. All right. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found value in today's video. And if you want to um, have more of this kind of um, UK, practical UK living content. All right. So see you in the very next video. Bye-bye. All right, so I just want to demonstrate to you all now um, how to actually apply for a provisional driver license. So what I want you to do is I want you to open a browser. It can be a Chrome browser like this. It can be a Microsoft Explorer, whichever browser you use. All right. And what I want you to do, I want you to just go to the address bar right here and type www.gov.uk slash apply hyphen hyphen provisional hyphen driving hyphen license okay this is the um, website here and then press enter and just read this this cookie notification just accept it just so that it removes itself and then when you scroll down it's going to say apply for your first provisional driving license um there's some more details here which i've already covered in today's video um so what you have to do is all you have to do is just scroll down and look for start now and if you look on the right hand side here there's some more information just in case you want to read more about it but this video has covered the most important parts that you have to know but there is information available here so i will leave this link in the description section below if you want to read more about it but once once you're ready to apply just press start now and then you scroll down you're going to be um told what to do you're going to be given some instructions so first they're going to ask you some questions about your eligibility for a provisional driving license especially if this is your first time actually getting a driving license and they're going to be asked to confirm your identity as well so you have to provide your uk passport number if you have a uk passport if you do not you have to you're going to, and you're going to have to mention that you don't have it when you're answering all the questions and then they're going to ask you for an alternative form of identity so um as i spoke about earlier on this video if you're on a visa they're going to ask for your share code um if you are not um you know if you are not a uk citizen um then you probably would not be able to apply because you need to have a visa to be able you need to have a visa or a passport to be able to actually apply for this okay um 
so they also ask for your national insurance number if you know it if you have a national insurance number so national insurance number basically enables you to be able to work in the uk and i will release a video about the national insurance number how to actually apply for a national insurance number as well and um, because it's very very important it enables you to work in the uk um so i'm also going to ask you for your addresses over the last three years as well um so once you're able to provide all of these um, it makes your application a bit more swift and a bit more um fast for you okay so just make sure you get all of these documents um if you have your share if you have a visa get your share code ready if you have a passport uk passport get your uk passport ready all right and they just provide some more information here that um you're gonna have to provide a, a photograph of yourself as well and a signature okay now just um as a disclaimer to you for the photograph um make sure that the photograph is like a passport photo so you shouldn't be smiling really smiling in the photo make it a passport photo that is like the standard for most of these um kind of documents um so as you can see here they said you can be you should be able to use your passport photo and signature if your passport has one all right so when you've got all of these um documents at hand just click on continue it's gonna it's gonna go ahead and ask you some eligibility questions so it says have you been issued with a great britain provisional driving license before i must click on no just assuming that i have not got one and then they're gonna ask you where is your current address so i'm assuming that you're in the uk that's why you want a uk um provisional driving license um but you can also select any other country um if i click on any other country just for demonstration purposes it says you cannot apply for a great britain provisional license if you are not in the uk all right just for clarification let me just go back and restart the process sorry about that just wanted to show you something so gov.uk hyphen apply first hyphen provisional driving license click on run the page now click on start now again to just be ready so ready click on continue and just click on no um and then click on england mm -hmm. right, so just imagine you are in the uk and you are wanting to apply it's asking do you have a uk passport you can say no just imagine you're on a visa all right so if you go down it says as you do not have a uk passport and this service is new you will need to apply using our old online service the old online service will look different to this service and you may be asked to send your identity documents by post any information you have been given you have given on this um this service will not be saved you will need to re-enter your details in our old online service so just click on here if you do not have a uk passport you're going to be directed to this page just follow the instructions and use the old online service all right so click on that and you're going to be redirected so this is the old online service um so just read this this is just some instructions of how to actually use this website correctly if you look on the left hand side you're going to see um basically what it's going to be asking you step by step it's going to be asking you for security of your data your details your address your security and so forth your national insurance number uk passport number or other ident um, other identity documents but as you read earlier you're going to have to send your documents by post so just go through this application step by step so just click on next and then it's just going to, it's just telling you that your um data is secure all right so um because you're gonna have to make a payment okay so once you complete this form you're gonna have to make a payment of 34 pounds to actually pay for your provisional driving license so they just they are just um, reassuring you that your data is secure your data is confidential so just read that and click on this just for a bit more information if you want to read more okay but just go back to that tab click on next it's going to ask you for your details i'm not going to fill this out um but just fill out your details so if you look on the on this side right here you're going to see your details your addresses your security details this is the order of the application form and as you can see you're going to have to do an application a summary and a payment as well all right so just go through this form if you run through any challenges or any difficulties please just let me know in the comment section below and i will endeavor to help you all right so i hope this video has been helpful um continue watching as I end this video.